Hi, it's me, Brian. Hey, I hope you're doing great and enjoying this Christmas season. Hey, really quick, I just booked my first trip out of the country since my honeymoon to Cancun 10 years ago. Only this time, it's gonna be a little bit different. Stacy won't be with me, and while I'll be in the Caribbean, it's gonna be a lot different. I'm actually going on my first mission trip to Haiti, actually to an orphan village just outside the epicenter of where that 2010 earthquake struck. Now, you know, I'm not exactly a seasoned international traveler. It's true that I rarely travel outside my own zip code, and I haven't been on an airplane since 2008, and I've certainly never been on a mission trip. But after that 2010 earthquake in Haiti, my family sponsored an orphan child in Dargout, a village near Port-au-Prince. Then in May, one of my buddies went there. His stories and pictures just shook me. The poverty is never ending. Just miles and miles of blue tarped housing and people literally living amongst trash. Some adults are trying to resume some sort of normal business right beneath the dangerous rubble of collapsed buildings. While children left without parents are having to care for each other. And they don't have the government structure like the US to care for these children like we do here. These kids really don't have much of a chance at life, except for the hope the orphanages are providing them. My life is gonna be recalibrated for sure. For four days, I'm gonna be a human jungle gym for a bunch of kids that have no father and a rough housing buddy for a bunch of teenage boys that have very few male role models. I've been working extra hard to help fund the trip, and my family's made some sacrifices as well. I returned an iPod for my birthday that I got in September. My family skipped a Halloween trip that we take to Disney every year. I didn't go on a guy's trip up to Gainesville for golf and football, and I've eaten more tuna out of the can than I care to admit. On top of airfare, we'll have some transportation costs to the orphanages, as well as a translator, some sort of security, and the hostel that we'll stay at on campus. And I hear the two meals a day that we get are, well, interesting. But seriously, gas alone is about $22 a gallon. And we're each responsible for bringing 100 pounds of peanut butter, which we'll deliver to restock the pantries of five orphanages. As you can see, that's a lot of peanut butter to pack. And any room we have left, we'll fill with children's Tylenol, Band-Aids, and hopefully a soccer ball or two. So, would you financially partner with me for this trip? Maybe one time this month, you could skip the round of golf, or eat in one time, or do happy hour at home. Just one small sacrifice in the next 30 days. I'll share my experience with you through Facebook or a blog, so you can see the massive impact that your small sacrifice is having on some children that don't have a whole lot of hope otherwise. What a tremendous opportunity to recalibrate yourself and your family heading into 2012. You can financially partner with me by clicking the link in this email below this video to make a tax deductible donation through my local church. I'd greatly appreciate any amount that you can contribute to this. And I've involved my son as well. What a great lesson it's been for my little six and a half year old. And if you are unable to financially partner with me, just know I would greatly appreciate your thoughts and your prayers as we go into this. I'm so appreciative of your support either way. God bless you and your family this Christmas season.